Hello and welcome. Raquel Welsh rarely looked more beautiful and alluring than she did on a desert island in Australia. Acclaimed worldwide for decades as one of the sexiest looking women in the world, Raquel came to Australia in the late 1980s to make a telemovie. The film, Trouble in Paradise, about a wealthy woman marooned on a near deserted island, was shot in Queensland with interiors also filmed in Sydney. Her co-stars were Aussie Jack Thompson and British-born Nicholas Hammond. At the time, I was working as an external PR consultant for the 7 TV network which had actually commissioned the film. I'd previously hosted their midday movie show for five years, but at the time had no idea that Raquel was in town. Until I got a phone call from the management that, in their words, Raquel was being difficult, and could I, given my involvement in the movie industry, see if, diplomatically, I could assist. One of their complaints was about her wasting time using a large hand mirror to constantly check her lighting for close-ups. Then 48, Raquel looked stunning and knew exactly what worked best for her. When I spoke to her, she explained simply that she was being professional and the crew should understand that. And, oh, by the way, could I organise a cruise for her on Sydney Harbour for that Sunday? After rapidly making arrangements, I arrived early at the wharf on the Sunday morning to ensure everything was in order. After some minutes, the only people who appeared were a man in casual gear and a woman with a big floppy hat and dark glasses. I ignored them for a few moments until the woman changed direction, walked straight at me and said hi as she took off her sunglasses. I'd been expecting a glamorous movie star but was greeted by a very down-to-earth woman about 5'6", no makeup, in a trench coat, with her auburn hair tucked under her hat. Not at all the glamorous image of Raquel the world was accustomed to. Once on board, Raquel talked very little about her exciting movie career, but rather how proud she was of her transition to the Broadway stage in Woman of the Year in the early 1980s, and the many challenges doing performances in front of audiences night after night. It was a memorable day as we took an extensive cruise around the many bays in our magnificent harbour, cruised under the Sydney Harbour Bridge and along the edge of the Sydney Opera House. And I should note that a decade later in 1997, Raquel starred again on Broadway in Victor Victoria, following Julie Andrews and Liza Minnelli into the title role. While the film's fantastic voyage and One Million Years BC won her international fame, Raquel had already made many appearances in popular US TV series, including Bewitched, Mikhail's Navy and The Virginian. And as she said, that work meant she had paid her dues as a working actress before her so-called instant stardom. Raquel had also proved she had a great sense of humour and a good feeling for comedy. After sending up her sex symbol image, appearing a number of times on Rowan and Martin's Laugh-In and The Muppets and in the movie Medazzled, opposite Peter Cook and Dudley Moore. But for decades, she refused many requests from producers and directors to do nude scenes, often with some of the most famous male stars in the world. It was perhaps mildly astonishing then that Di Drew, the director of Trouble in Paradise, convinced her to do a bedroom scene with Jack Thompson, with both of them naked, and I can only imagine it was the warm night air in Australia. While Raquel's movie career slowed during the 90s and into the new millennium, she continued to do a lot of television work, though she did have a role in Reese Witherspoon's hit Legally Blonde in 2001. She later co-starred in the Hispanic-oriented TV series American Family, comedies Welcome to the Captain and Date My Dad, along with the movies Tortilla Soup, Forget About It, and her last role in 2017, How to Be a Latin Lover. It was a wonderful career on both stage and screen, but the enduring memory Raquel will leave for hundreds of millions of fans was as one of the world's most enduring sex symbols. It was a status she simultaneously appreciated with a sense of humour, but acknowledged it had both propelled her career into stardom and at times limited her dramatic aspirations. And for me, that day on the harbour, well, I'll never forget it. Raquel Welsh was 82 when she died in Los Angeles from a short illness.